Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. Today we are going to be making something really, really cool. I've never done this before. I got a lot of requests for the character Kirby because he's so cute and he eats all the time. He's like, yum, 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 yum. So he's the perfect character to make on this show. And I got so many requests to make fancy French macaroons or macarons. So today we are going to be making pink French macarons and decorate them to look like Kirby. The things you will need will be powdered sugar, regular sugar, almond flour, and if you can't find almond flour at the store, what you can do is buy natural raw almonds and then grind them, either in a food processor or if you have a coffee grinder, they work just fine too. A little bit of salt, pink food coloring, a whisk, a spatula, three eggs, we're just gonna be using the egg whites, make sure these are at room temperature, parchment paper, a cookie sheet, two big mixing bowls, a sifter, and a mixer. The first thing that we're gonna do to make these French macaroon cookies is we are going to sift using a sifter. You can also use a little bowl one and push the powder through with a spoon, but I've got this hand sifter. Pretty neato. So first you're gonna take your powdered sugar, it's two cups of powdered sugar, and you're gonna put it through slowly. I'm not gonna do it all at the same time. Sift, sift, sift. You don't want any of these bigger chunks in your cookies because they won't be smooth. You're gonna have these little chunks sticking out and it won't look very good. And now you're gonna sift the almond flour. Take a little scoop, put them in. Sift, 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 sift. And again, here are the leftover, kind of bigger pieces of almond chunks that we will not want to use on your macaroons. So just dump them into the excess bowl. After you've sifted your powdered sugar and almond flour all together, you're gonna whisk it until it's thoroughly combined. Okay, now you're gonna set this aside and we're gonna get our other big bowl. Uh, and in this bowl, we are gonna be combining our egg whites and regular sugar. We are going to fluff our egg whites to make the meringue, so this is really cool. So you're gonna take your eggs, make sure that they're room temperature. If you don't have room temperature eggs, I would suggest putting them in some warm water just for a couple minutes so that they warm, get warm. You do not wanna use cold eggs. I told you, these cookies are picky. They will not turn out if you have cold eggs. Jiggle the yolk back and forth, back and forth, letting the whites fall into the bowl. Now you're gonna take your egg whites, put them in the big mixing bowl, and you're just gonna measure out one fourth cup of sugar, regular sugar, and you're going to gradually add it to the mix as we blend on medium speed. Now this is another important thing. You're really gonna beat these eggs for eight minutes. I'm not joking, eight minutes. I would beat for four minutes, just the eggs, and then for the next four minutes, slowly add the sugar. Let's get started. Ooh, that was a workout. We just beat this for eight minutes, and this is what it should look like. Really fluffy, really, really smooth. Now we are going to add a little bit of salt, just a pinch, just a pinch. And we are gonna add our food coloring dye. This is pink food coloring dye. And the thing about macarons is that when they bake, they bake lighter, so this color will lighten up, so you're gonna wanna put a little bit more food coloring than you'd think. It's gonna be really, really bright, but it will tone down, don't worry. Then you're just gonna mix on medium speed for just a little bit until it's all thoroughly combined. Once your food coloring is all mixed in your egg white fluff, now we are going to slowly mix in our almond flour and powdered sugar mixture. And this is where there could be a problem with these picky cookies. So you don't wanna overmix and you don't wanna undermix. Over mixing, your cookies will be really, really flat, which in this case isn't a bad thing because we're gonna be drawing little faces. But if you under mix, your cookies are gonna be really fluffy and they will crack, they will break apart. So what you do is you just add it, about a third at a time is what I like to do. And I try to just fold it in gently and I count in my head between 50 to 60 strokes. So if you're like, one, two, all right, and that was about 20. We'll add in some more. Here we are, we're all done. We folded in all of the batters together and I'll take a scoop so you can see what it will look like. It will be really, really thick, but it will still be moving. Now you're gonna take a plastic bag. This is a 16 inch, and I just put a little tip at the end that's circle. If you don't have this fancy bag, you can just use a Ziploc bag and cut a hole at the bottom, and you're just gonna scoop all your batter into the bag. Then you're just gonna take your bag, 
fold it up and I'm just taking a hair tie, nothing fancy. And now I've got a baking sheet and I've lined it with one piece of parchment paper. Don't use wax paper, you'll want to use parchment paper. That is a pro tip. Now we're gonna pipe the little cookies and this is about a half inch tip and you're gonna try to make your cookies about an inch, inch and a half. And if you do it a little bigger, that's okay because we're making little Kirby's and Kirby likes to be big. So you're just gonna go around and boop. Now you're gonna take your tray and tap down on the table really, really hard. What this does is it allows all the little air bubbles to surface and come up so that you won't get any lumpy cookies. Now is the easiest part. You just let these sit for 30 minutes. The reason you do this is they develop kind of a hard shell while they're sitting. This is the perfect time to go preheat your oven to 300 degrees, and then when you put them in, you bake for 20 minutes. And remember to put them on a top rack. While our cookies are setting, we are gonna make the raspberry buttercream frosting. This is gonna be so yummy, it's from scratch. Really simple, all you'll need is one stick of butter, which is half a cup, three-fourths cup of powdered sugar, just a little bit less than this cup, and one cup of fresh raspberries. First thing you're gonna do is take your butter and just plop it in the big mixing bowl. Plop! Now you're gonna beat your butter for about four minutes until it's light and fluffy, and then you're gonna slowly add the powdered sugar. Once you got your butter whipped to be light and fluffy, we are going to mash up the raspberries. I'm using the sifter again. Or you can just mash them up with like a potato masher, but I like to do it this way. Put them in here. Make sure they're room temperature and not cold from the refrigerator. I'm kind of just stabbing them and mixing them around. And what's gonna happen is eventually the raspberry juice is gonna come out of the bottom. And the reason you do this is because in the frosting you don't want the seeds and you can see that it catches all the seeds and the bigger chunks. Yum, it smells so good. You're just gonna take a tablespoon, take a couple tablespoons. You can do two or three, whatever you like. Yeah, save that for later. Now you're just gonna take your beater and mix this in. Now we're just gonna scoop it into a plastic bag so we can put it on our cookies evenly. Just scoop it in there. And this is just one of the many frostings you can do. You can do a buttercream, you can do a ganache. You could just put some raspberry jam in between your cookies when they're done. Once your cookies are done baking, now it's time to decorate. We've got different color icings. We got black and white and red and blue, and I put number two tips on all of them. And we are gonna draw little Kirby faces on top of all of our cookies. Um, yum, 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 yum. Once you got your little Kirby faces all decorated, and oh, they're so cute, you are gonna take your buttercream raspberry frosting and just put a little bit in the middle. Leave some room on the sides because you'll squish down the cookie. Then you're just gonna put them on top. Oh, perfect macaroon. Now you're gonna do this to the rest of your cookies. Ta-da, we did it. Here are our Kirby macaroons. I decorated these four with different little Kirby expressions and then I left these ones plain so you can see what the French macaroon looked like without being decorated. So if you had any other characters that you wanted to decorate, it would maybe spark some creativity. Thanks you guys for suggesting it. I love doing it. Kirby's one of my favorite little characters because he eats everything. Yum, 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 yum. If you have any other ideas for any other nutty nummies, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make it happen. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.